This video explains how to sort the index of a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this tutorial, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first code snippet in this tutorial. So if you run the code that you can see in the first code snippet, the pandas library is imported. And then in the next step, we can use the data frame constructor to create an example data frame, as you can see in the next code snippet. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that a new data frame has been created, which is called data. And this data frame contains 10 rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. And you can also see that the index of this data frame is not ordered yet because the first index position is the index value 5, the second index position is the index value 1, and so on. So if we want to sort this index of our data frame, we can use the sort index function as you can see in the first example of this tutorial. So in order to apply the sort index function, we need to specify the name of our data frame. So in this case, our data frame is called data. And then we need to apply the sort index function and we can store the output of this in a new data frame object, which we call data new one. And then we can print this new data frame to the bottom, as you can see in the next line of code using the print function. So if you run this code snippet, you can see that our data frame is updated because this time the index has been sorted. And as you can see, the rows of our data frame has been sorted according to our index values. So the index is ranging from zero to nine, but the values in the rows of our data frame have been changed as well. If we want to keep the ordering of the rows in our data frame, but we want to reset the index, we can use the next code snippet that you can see here. So in this case, we are using the reset underscore index function instead of the sort index function. And within this function, we are specifying the drop argument to be equal to true. And then we are printing this data frame once again to the bottom. And then as you can see, our new data frame has a sorted index. However, the values and the rows in our data frame has been retained. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.